in C sharp, it is important to understand the float data type. This is how you declare it. And one thing that you need to be aware of with the float data type is you always need to include the letter F at the end of literal that you use. So here, notice I am typing the decimal number. I am using F to indicate it's the float. So why do we need this F? If I remove this F from here, it says the double can only implicitly convert it to a float type. Use F suffix to create literal of this type. So by default, C sharp and Python wants you to be perfectly happy that this number that you're having over here may lose its precision. The precision part is if you look at this large number over here only has four bytes available to it it can only store numbers and digits that are of length an estimate of six to nine so float is the smallest digit type that you can have that can have a decimal point in it and double is the next larger but notice also that it takes up eight bytes and after that you've got a decimal and that kicks up 16 bytes four of them also increase in terms of how precise they are so a decimal has 28 to 29 digits while a double has 15 to 17 but a float only has six to nine digits Our number over here and the output that we get over here is very different and what we mean by very different it will try and round that number it goes up to five six here which is five six there but next number we have the seven so it increases that seven to eight and let's body precision into perspective so here this number six seven eight it ends there the point nine in the output is lost instead this eight is converted to a nine so the number is pretty close to the original and if we have a look at this one this is an interesting example number has a nine at the end and here it has a zero in the end this is because this eight has been converted into a 9 over here which has added a 0. You might be wondering why has it added 0. This is because if we take this number and we put it over here let's try and work out what this number is. So we're going to add a comma after three digits and this number reads 123,456,789. If we didn't add a 0 at the end now let's just change that to a 9 and we add the comma to separate. So here this number now reads 12,345,679 which is vastly different from 123 million because 123 million versus 12 million. So what the C-sharp compiler does is it takes that number, it will change, remove the 9, increase the 8 to a 9, and then add a 0 here. So the 0 it added here. Now if we include the commas to separate the digits, you can see the number reads 123,456,790. So the difference between this number and this number is only 1. But the difference between this and this is huge. So simply by having a missing 0 at the end, we have a completely different number. And this is known as the number's magnitude. So the 0 is added to ensure the magnitude of the number is kept the same, but a missing zero changes that massively. Floating points will try and keep the number as precise as possible to the original, but of course you need to be aware that it is not exactly as the original as shown in this case. And that's why floats are used commonly in game development, because in games losing a precision of numbers like this doesn't really matter. But in monetary terms, in terms of managing money, having decimal aces represented accurately is very important, so floats should never be used for money.